Now, the first thing I want to start with in this video is the centered fix with content and getting the background image and the background color and stuff like that. Um, so let's do that. Um, so we want to have the background image on the HTML, right, the root element. And then this is the body that we give a width and padding and that margin auto, all that good stuff. Just center it like that in the white background. You'll also notice the background's a little transparent. I'll show you how to do that too. Okay, so let's, oh, and I forgot the image here. Oh, no, you'll do the image. That's right. You're going to do the JavaScript section and that image is kind of a check your understanding assignment that you'll show me later. Okay. Um, all right. So let's do that centered fix with content. We go to the notes. Uh, the notes told me I should have a width of 600 pixels. Gives me all the padding and stuff like that. A top margin of 25. Okay. Let's take a look and see. So we've got the HTML background color. Let's actually get rid of that for now. And notice this little underline here. This is a warning it's saying do not use empty rule sets because there's no styles in here. It's telling you like, what, what are you doing? Why, why do you have this here? But we're just going to leave it because we're going to add it later. I'm just going to start with my bodoi, my body, and ask it to have a background color of white. Um, and let's do a border of red. Uh, hold on, I need to go one pixel solid red. Like so. You need to specify the style for sure. Actually, I think you can just do the style and the default would be one pixel and the color would be black. Yeah, maybe it's two pixels. That looks a little thicker. Anyway, so remember that's kind of our, our body right now. And we want to give it a width. I'm just doing the border so we can see this better. A width of 200 pixels, like so. Awesome. And then uh, the note said we wanted a top margin of 25 pixels. So we're going to do that margin 25 pixels and then auto. And that 25 will be on the top and the bottom, but that doesn't really matter much on the bottom because there's nothing. We can have 25 pixels at the bottom because there's nothing out there. So that's totally fine. Okay, um, yeah, that's cool. And then we need the padding, of course. Um, what did it say about the padding? Padding, 25 pixels on the top, 150 pixels left and right, and 50 pixels on the bottom. All right, again, when we do padding, if we give one number, that applies to all sides. If we give two numbers, these apply to top and bottom, this applies to left and right. If I give three numbers, this is top, this is left and right, this is bottom. And if you did four numbers, you could actually go, well, I think it starts top, top, right, bottom, left. And anyway, it's all in W3 schools as well. But yeah, when we do three numbers, this is top, this is left and right, this is bottom. And double check the notes, 25 top, 150 left and right, 50 bottom. Perfect. Okay, save that. Uh, make sure it's just spaces. Some people put columns in here. It's just spaces in between, and that should hopefully give us our nice padding. Yay. All right. Now let's get the background colors in there um, and the background image. I already did the background color white, but you can't really tell because the HTML doesn't have a background image. All right. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. There is background image. Ta-da. And when we do this, we have to go URL. Um, this is kind of like a, a CSS function that says look up the, the universal resource location, right? Look up the address for this image. And again, we have to look inside of our IMG folder for the tech background. Okay, save that. And ta-da! Okay, and this actually looks this actually looks pretty good, but the image is actually kind of small, so it's actually repeating itself. Um, there is a thing here where you can actually go background, repeat, and then go no repeat. So that it won't repeat itself and you'll see, oh, that's just the size of the background and it was tiling itself to cover the background, okay, to cover the whole page. Now, um, yeah, actually, you know what? We could just leave it like this. I think that actually looks really good. But I do want to show you another technique and it's the technique that's used in the screenshot. You can actually see it's a little blurry, and that's because we stretched the background. And I'll show you that now. Um, W3Schools 
has in the CSS tutorial. It's kind of weird. They have a CSS tutorial and then a CSS advanced tutorial. And if you go in the advanced section under backgrounds, there is a section here on a full size background image. And what they do here is they use the shorthand background notation, not background image, but just background. And that allows you to specify the image and no repeat and some positioning and making it fixed. And then this background size property to cover it will stretch it. Okay, so let's just, I'm going to just copy this part and add that to the end here and make sure that this is just background and not background image. Background image, we can only give an image. The background property allows me to specify multiple things. And then we needed that background size cover. Okay. And see, and now that stretches. And now if I were to, sorry, if I were to resize this, it just, it always stretches to fill whatever size we got. Okay. Uh, one interesting thing with this too is with the fixed background, when I scroll, see, that's what that fix does. It fixes the background in place and the content, the body scrolls over top of the background. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, like I said, feel free to do, I wanted to show you this full size background because I think it's a pretty cool effect. Um, doesn't cause scroll bar that's fixed and stuff like that, scales it. Um, I think it's, a, yeah, it's nice. But the other way is good too. All right. Um, yeah, what more do we want to do here? I think, no, let's just leave it at that. And in the next video, we'll start working on the rest of the, the styles to, maybe we might be able to finish this in the next video. Okay, we'll see you then.